excuse the lawnmowers, it's Sunday, so the suburbs are cutting their grass. My latest obsession, planners. Planners like this, planners like this, and planners like this. Yep, I have a few. I actually have three. Let's just, I haven't got like another 20 out the back. I just have three. Some people have 20. I don't have 20. I have three, which is actually too, too many, because I'm not, anyway, forget that I've got three. More to the point, my planner obsession is decorating them, making inserts and uh, decorating my planner, personalizing it to myself. That's my latest obsession. For that obsession, I have been shopping. And this is a haul video. A haul video in, in Planner Girl speak is when you've been out shopping, you've bought a bunch of supplies, you come home and you want to share them on YouTube with your friends and family and followers. That's what I'm doing. Welcome to my first ever, probably only ever, haul video. So what did I haul? I'm just going to rattle through them. They all make me very happy and they all save me money in one way or another. So that's really fantastic. First thing I got, six hole punch. This I think would be a necessity for anyone in the planner world, especially if you're like me and have been making six holes with a single punch and they're not always even. So I'm very happy to have a six hole punch. This one's adjustable so I can use it for all the planners that I own. It's great. Second thing I bought was this tap punch. Tap punches create the little shapes that become the tabs, so here's, here's two of them, from the punch, glue them together, and you stick them to your divider, and you've got yourself a little tab. What I love about this is that I can have a different pattern on the front of my tab to the back of my tab, and that makes me happy. I'm a simple person, that's all I need in my life, and the fact that this has this gorgeous material on the back of my dividers makes me very happy. Uh, what else did I do? So I got uh, the tab, the hole punch, and then I got some paper. And the paper came in various forms. First of all, I got really large sheets of paper, and I got these on sale, so I was, I was very happy. But when the, the scrapbooking paper from the States is thicker than the paper that we can buy here, it's also double-sided in that there is a pattern on both sides of the paper. Uh, that's very handy and a bit heartbreaking some days too if you have to cut into a piece of paper that, that, that you absolutely love but maybe uh, you love the other side too. But um, it's great and it's a bit thicker so the American stuff is awesome so I picked up some of that. Also picked up some paper that was already die cut so a little bit like the punch. It's already been cut so they come in packs like this and those are only seven dollars a pack at spotlight because spotlight was having a clearance sale um, and in a pack like that you will get lots of little little pieces that are already cut already to be used and these are great for um, decorating anything that you want to decorate i'm dropping them all over the floor so i'll be crawling under this table after this video to pick all those up so those were great i also picked up um, some little borders for photos. So these are already pre-cut, very much like that, so that I can just grab a photo, pop a border on it, trim it to fit, and that's my decorating done. That's awesome. Picked up some Project Life cards. I don't even want to go into what Project Life is at the moment, but for $15 I got this pack with 180 different cards. These are also double-sided and they can be used just like this or cut up and used in other things. So for $15 at Spotlight, I have all the Project Life cards I probably will ever need considering the speed of burnout I get on Obsessions. So that's working really well. When I finished uh, going through Spotlight, say they had uh, clearance tables, I trotted over to Warehouse Stationery, another favourite uh, place for me to shop, and got a few other things. Another die cut um, tool, this one's for rounding corners, so I did not have a one inch rounder or a half inch, I have them smaller than that, so pick this up on sale and I can then round the corners of my dividers or any pages um, and I like a rounded corner so that suits me very well. Picked up that. Stickers are just 
fantastic to use in planning and I have an absolute soft spot for emoticons and robots so managed to pick a few of those up and they're super cute especially the um, the robots one they're really nice for putting on the planner pages picked up some notebooks as well uh, this little pack was only seven dollars and there's three stitched um, lined notebooks in here which just, is just fantastic a nice cardboard cover and nice pages and while they're a little wide for what I want to use them for we're big on cutting things down in the planner community so I will trim this and it will fit right into my notebook so that's great so while I'm, when I'm not trimming down notebooks to fit into my planner I'm, I'm using notebook paper uh, to create inserts my own personalized one and to that end when I saw this little pack of three gridded pads see the grid on there I just love a grid I love a grid and that's and these are a nice ones I've got isometric grid on this one and some goodness only knows what grid is that one and I can easily pull these off here make hot put them through my six hole punch and shove them into my planner so really really cool bananas I, I like being able to find uh, pads to make inserts um, and that's my planner haul Mm. Oh, I had one more thing. Wait, this whole cooler. So the joy of my life was being able to, oh, my life lately, have been able to buy this Midori Traveller's notebook in blue from Bookbinders Online. Um, they only bring them in intermittently and in small numbers. So when I saw them packing them on Instagram, I went and I bought one. Uh, a Midori Traveller's notebook is a, um, a square of leather held together by elastic it's quite a fun little um, setup where an elastic band holds your inserts as they're called the books that you use inside here um, what I discovered during the week was that the new moleskin chapters which I mean they're not even called notebooks but the moleskin chapters that's what this is fit in here really well I wondered what the heck Moleskin was doing making these. I didn't know where they were supposed to go, but they certainly fit very nicely into my Moleskin. This is a nice one with a dotted grid, which is, is, is lots of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. This weekend, after I've finished um, filming this actually, getting it up online, I will be doing some decorating of this planner. I've added a little charm that I also got from Spotlight for a couple of bucks to here, feeling very French, but this, I love this. This is going to be my uh, planner that will be in my bag um, and, and will have um, um, inserts that would suit what I need to know when I'm out in the world. Whereas this larger Kiki K1 is a desk planner which will stay at home. So um, I will find a way to get these two to play nicely together and um, I may report back on it. You might not find it very interesting but I'm currently, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, very obsessed. Thank you for listening to my haul video, my one and only, probably never to be repeated haul video. Have a good weekend.